So guys, today back for another video on the channel. Today we have the Newcastle United vs Brighton predicted team. On the weekend, Newcastle United got beat two games in a row and does that mean changes need to be made? You know, I have to wait and see. Yet again, as I mentioned in every predicted team, this is a team that I think will get played in a little bit of what I want. But I'll, I'll go through every player and why they are there, just so you know, rather than just looking at the team going, Eddie, I wouldn't play that, or whatever it may be. Make sure to leave a like, both subscribe to the channel. If you want to go and see the preview for, for the Brighton game, I bet at the top, there'll be a link in the description and on the end screen. And, and, and as I mentioned in the preview as well, hopefully there will be a, a watch along for the game tomorrow against Brighton. For the away games that I don't go to this season, I'm going to try and do the watch-alongs, bring them back if you're OG of the channel. I used to do them for every um, during the lockdown se um, season, pretty much every game um, and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully they'll be, we'll be back on the channel. Let's get to this predicted team, boys. So this is my predicted team for the game versus Brighton. Bottom to top, let's have it. In goal, Nick Pope. Can't say him bring De Braff going. I feel like I say the same thing every week, but Nick Pope starts with me in goal. Right back, Trippier. Um, I feel like he will start and obviously I'm going to speak a little bit about the captain situation with um, what's happened um, on Sunday night as we move on to the centre backs. I put Shaw and Dan Byrne in. I've, this is recorded before Eddie Howe's press conference and I just feel like it's too much of a risk to play Botman because the player doesn't go off um, that that hurts if he's going to be fine the next week we've got an international break leave him out for this one and hopefully he's back for our game versus Brentford mentioned about the captain situation and, and centre backs obviously Jamal Lasselles could come in but he's had an incident this week if you have not seen on Twitter basically um, him and his brother were in a nightclub in Newcastle China White um, and basically when they left they got threatened by these lads Jamal's not hit a punch, there's a video, he's not hit a punch whatsoever and then a lad slide him and then he's reacted, he's human. He's, I think he's, I don't think he's got every right to do that, it, he obviously he's got, it's his brother, like, he's, it's his brother, his younger brother as well, like, he's, he's getting hit because it's Jamal Lasselda, I doubt he's going to sit there and cause him beef in that in the club, do you know what I mean, it's, he's a professional footballer, he, he can laugh at everyone there, do you know what I mean, he's, get, he's got more money than all them combined, it's, it's a shame because obviously he's the captain of the football club and obviously our fans try to put something on my name but I, f I, I stand with Jamal, I think he's done the right thing, he's sticking up for his brother and there's just absolute cocks in the world in the Left back situation now, we've got Matt Target, I put Lewis Hall and he wasn't on the bench against Liverpool um, Hall and I think Target was at fault for that um, for that um, goal, the second goal, watching it back, I didn't even watch it back when doing my player ratings and whatnot, I didn't even see and he's just so out of position and it's really, really poor. Obviously he's been linked with him with um, Nottingham Forest and Fulham, but it looks like Newcastle United won't accept any deals and Matt Target will stay at the club. In the midfield, I have kept it the same and I feel like in the international duty, this is what we've got to focus on the midfield because what's happened to Bruno? Because he's the main fault for the second goal and fans will not say it. It's the 92nd third minute and you're trying to do a Travella pass through two players when you've got Matt Target waiting there. You've got to just play the ball up the line to Harvey Barnes. Poor decision making from, from Bruno and it's, it's shit to say, it's shit to say because we love him so much. But he's got to be doing better in this season, he's not been good enough. So in my opinion, if come back from international duty and Joe Willock is fit, if I've not mentioned Joe Willock whatsoever, he is such a key player of this team and I feel like if Joe Willock's fit for that game versus Brentford and we lose this game versus Brighton, Bruno Gomorrah should be dropped and Willock should be brought in and then put Tonali in the hold and yeah again Joe Linton and Tonali were fantastic against Liverpool, don't know why they didn't play the whole game them to start, it's pretty obvious. In the attack, the title about it all and I've got to say it now Almond cannot start this game. He he can it, right? Uh, uh, being away from home at Brighton, he, he just can't start against Espinian, who one of the best left backs in the league at the minute, and he cut in on his on his left foot all game. He'll get he'll get found out. The reason why I've got Jacob Murphy in is because it looks like Howe's only gonna play Barnes and Gordon on that left hand side and not and not change. That 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 is that is why I would I would like to see a different line up, but it, it'll have to wait and see. It's when will it fit? Now I'll, I'll I'll say whenever. But I mean, Murphy starts um, 
for me and right wing. It's a bit of like, I feel like he will start on one and I will be fuming, but I've got Murphy in. Gordon needs to play a whole, a whole 90 minutes. He's fit enough, he's ready, he scored, he was brilliant, and he has to start. And up front, Isaac. Um, I don't, I've got a feeling that he might play Wilton, but I feel like Isaac's a man off top of the minute for Newcastle, and I can't see Callum Wilton start. And, Maybe I don't know. I don't know, but that's my predicted team, boys. Make sure to leave a like, boys. Subscribe to the channel. See you over the game tomorrow. Hopefully, there will be a watch along on the channel. And obviously, the videos going out afterwards, like normal. Loads of videos out this week, this this season. Obviously, we've got the international break, but I will still be bringing content out after the Brighton game. See you the next one, boys. See you tomorrow, and hopefully, Newcastle United can pick up three points. How are the lads?